out my YouTube channel, Tell It Off. Yeah, um, shout out to Tell It Off. Thank you for following. Right then, guys, welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. Match preview then for the weekend's game, Coventry away. Um, it should be a good game, you know. We've got nearly 4,000 Derby fans making the trip to Coventry. Absolutely incredible support from, um, you know, a team that's in the relegation zone, bottom of the league, and in administration. Obviously, the 12 points deduction and a further nine possible. Yet the fans are still turning up. Absolutely fantastic, and what we love to see. Um, obviously, going into this one, we go into it on the back of um, <clears throat> the draw against Luton. The next question is probably going to be which keeper do we start? You know, Allsop didn't have a great one the other night, so do you stick with him? Do you give Roos a chance? This is what you ask yourself, but both make their mistakes, but. You know, do you stick with what you got? We've been getting three clean sheets in a row. So, do we stick with what we've got and hope that the form comes back? Um, Obviously, Coventry, they're going into it after losing 2-1 last night to... um. They lost 2-1 to Preston, so not a great result for them. Um, And then, obviously, I think they lost the game before that as well. So, they're not in very good form at the minute, I don't think. However, they are up there in the playoffs. So they, they they are doing well this season overall. Just the last game or so, they've been not great. So, you know, hopefully we can get them while they're in a bad run of form. Um, Obviously, last night as well, there was a big match between Hull and Peterborough. That's a big game down at the bottom of the table as far as Derby fans are concerned and Peterborough won 2 one So, you know, we need to start closing the gaps on the teams above us. Also, Barnsley lost last night, so they're now second bottom of the league. So, you know, we're four points behind them, so we need to be winning um, and then hoping that Barnsley carry on their poor run of, run of form. Um, hopefully, Nathan Burns back for this game Saturday as well. Obviously, he missed the last game through his suspension. I think that, you know, we wasn't great. Wasn't great um, defensively, but you know it is what it is. We we you know we we didn't take um, the defense's chances better. We should have defended better. You know, two mistakes and we were made to pay for play for him. I don't think Luton played that great, if I'm honest. But they managed to come back from behind twice against us. You know, we haven't conceded many in the last couple of games and then we're going to concede two in a game. We don't score many either, yet we scored two. You know, it's just frustrating that that should have been a win. We deserved a win from that game. We didn't get it. In terms of a score prediction against Coventry, <sighs> Mead is saying one will draw, you know, get another draw. Mead is saying I think we're going to win, whether that be 2-1, whether that be one all. Uh, one nil. Sorry, not one all. Um, I do think that we'll get something from Coventry. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if you know Martin Wagon scored a late winner, just to really get on us nerves and spoil our weekend. But yeah, comment your thoughts below. Leave a like on the video. Comment your score predictions below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified when I upload. And I will be going to Coventry and doing a vlog as well, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Up the Rams.